Hi, today I'm like to show how to render um, XGen fair in with Redshift. And to get this working, you need to assign a shader onto this fair patch here. We just go for the Redshift hair material. I will open up the shader in the note editor. Assign the new one here, and I will just go black on the internal reflection and the transmission. We can see now that's pure the stuff coming from the shader and now to get a little bit more variation I will assign a utility node here and that's the redshift attribute lookup node to get the data from xgen and we type in here in a lookup node just green And now we should get a green torus. You have to refresh XGen. Then it bit, uh, will pick up the nodes. To get even more variation, we are going to define the percentage of the strays. That's more like a mutant hair. So some of the, of the fur hairs are going to be in another color. Um, and to get this working, you need to define global expressions here it's just color stray color and this will define the color of the strays in the shader parameters you can see stray mix stray color with uh, the global green color so i have in the in the expressions i have a global green and the stray color so green and red strays I just go in here, green and red stray. That should do it. You can see, and now we get some red hair here. And now we are going to assign a ramp here, just break connection. Go in here and go for a ramp. Now we have the ramp assigned here. And we don't need the UV. here. We need to connect um, a new node so that Redshift is able to texture the hair along the path. Redshift, redshift position, redshift position. We just try it if it's working. So we should get black and white. Yes, here we go. And to get the red and green stuff back again, we just need to hook up the lookup attribute. We hit render again. Yes, here we go. Now we have strands, we have green color and white tips. We go for a little bit more. Uh, just yellow. And on the lookup attribute, we are going for even fancier stuff. We go for my comp parameter. It's Stray color and mixed with the ptex file. Color ptex. You can see you define here with the expression where this file looks, and I painted the ptex file in Matbox so that the torus does not have UVs. Um, it's painted with ptex, so it's totally seamless. And here is the global expressions. I need just to go in here. And type in here comp and now we should get a brownish yes brown white tips 
and some red mutants here. 